Okay, g'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry, I haven't been posting for a while, um, obviously with football and actually not having my cards in the shed. And um, I've uh, had mild wild towing pick up the Monaro from Walker Chassis. Uh, Walker Chassis to, uh, from getting the roll cage fitted. And um, so I thought I'd uh, do a little walk around what's been happening. He's mounted one of my seats and still waiting on one of the brackets for the passenger side. So some reason they didn't have two of them but um yeah so this is where we're at now there's a lot of bars going on i thought i'd be able to get the seats back in the back but it doesn't look like that's going to happen but i got um just spoke to ben from elite trim and he's going to take the car and uh, get something fixed up for me after i paint the uh roll cage so got a bit of work to do which is good i'm pumped to be able to have the car back and uh, do some stuff so Enough of me talking and this will be, this is where we're at. All right, so this is it. Now, I've gone for a half weld in, half weld in, half bolt in. So all the front bars and everything, are, as you can see, are gonna be able to come out. Got my seat all done. That's the one from Velo Australia um, that that have hooked me up with that. And then Ben from Elite Trim, it's done all the trimming like I showed in the last clip. And this is, all, I'll go over this side, make it a little bit easier. Through the window here, as you can see, all these bars here. Now apparently I'm full cam spec and Andrew spec with everything. So that's probably why there's all these bars happening right now. So. <laughs> It's a little bit more extreme than I actually thought, but um, hey, I'm safe and that's the main thing. And when I put an auto in it and want to go really fast, uh, I'm well and truly safe. So, and that's the tunnel that Blake, all, this, all the work that Blake's done on the tunnel for the finished product, which is awesome. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually take, the, take all these bars out and then I'm going to put them back together and I'm going to paint them. Um, probably just a rattle can and then I'm going to mask everything up inside here and um, yeah just sort of make it look a little bit nicer and go from there and then I can uh, send it off to Elite Trim they can do all the a bit of sound deadening all the carpet and um, yeah maybe uh, might get them to make something for the ECU as well so to put in the glove box but um, or somewhere else because it's um because that's gonna be hard to open while you got while the roll cage is in. So I might set you up and just do a little bit of time lapse and get you guys uh, show you what I'll be doing. But hey, I've got heaps of GoPro mounts now, which is awesome. Also, I need to go to uh, go and get my uh, harnesses for that. So which is good. I'll go and see the guys at Autosport and uh, yeah, go from there. So. That's all the cage, pretty much. What we're going on and where it's all welded in. Everything fits really nice. All really good, as you can see. That looks all killer. I'm very happy with that. I mean, it's a little bit more, a little bit more extreme than I actually thought or anticipated. I didn't really ask too many questions, so it's my fault. But. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm super happy with it. And um, yeah, so now I'm gonna pull it apart. And then once I pull it all apart, get everything else done, then and get a carpet and everything, all that sorted, I can go on, take it straight back to Paul Pavlo's. They'll do all the dash, get it all running right and um, clean it up a little bit. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to get this back to where We'll get it back to where I actually initially thought it, um, initially wanted it to be. So it's a bit of work here, but gives me something to do and a bit of filming for you guys. So let's get into it. All right, so it's all out of the car, all the, the front half is. And um, as you can see. All right, so all out of the car, all the front half, all the bolt-in section, all the bolts. Now I'm gonna put it back together um, outside the car and then paint it because I don't want to um, they're quite tight as they're supposed to be um, the joints so uh, I'm going to put it back together and paint it like that and then probably cover up the ones that, that bolt up to the rear so 
Um, it all fits back properly again. But uh, yeah, so that's it out of the car. And just gotta actually figure out how it all goes back together now. But um, yeah, so that's that bit done. And uh, see if I can do a little bit more. <laughs> So for obviously the other ends, um, just spoke to Ben from Elite Trim. I'm going to try and paint this before I get it down to him so he can um, sort all the carpet and just make it actually look a little bit nicer now. I'm going to get in and do a few things to the wiring and all that sort of stuff. Probably put the plastics back on the doors, door seals, sorry. And uh, yeah, just trying to make it a little, little bit neater in there and uh, yeah, go from there. So let's do it. All right, g'day guys. Welcome back to the shed. Um, a day after a game, I'm a bit sore, um, but I want to get this uh, the ball rolling on the cage. As you can see, I've got it laid out here. I've got my paint supplies over there. I'm going to get it, give it a bit of a rub back and get into this, painting this. Now, it's uh, probably the first time I've actually done this using a gun and stuff, so I'm just going to get into it and give it a crack and see how it all turns out and then I mask up um, all the bolts and stuff like that and um, all the other joints because they're quite tight and don't want to put a layer of paint on them um, so I'm going to mask them up and um, and then I've got it I think I'm going to put a sheet in the in and around the car I've got some plastic and stuff that I can use um, but yeah so it's going to be my day today now my mate in Melbourne, Justin, he's got a few collectible cars and um, he was looking for a Series 2 Maloo with the twin hard lid, um, <clears throat> twin bump hard lid like my old one and the black one uh, that I drove uh, about a month ago now and I said uh, the guy who I sold mine to is uh, probably looking to sell, sell it so I contacted him and they did a deal and it's coming back here to store in the shed for a little bit and then it's going to go back and then it's going to go to Melbourne and get a full uh, respray I'm pretty sure but um, that's pretty cool I get to drive it again he said I can go for a bit of a spin in it I'm going to put a battery in it and make sure it's all good to go um, but yeah that's pretty cool to get that back so I'll have that here tonight which would be awesome um, and yeah I'm going to get stuck into this I'll do a bit of a time lapse and see how we go from there cheers So I've uh, masked up all the little bolt holes and everything like that, put a bit of plastic down, uh, rubbed it all back, um, and yeah, so hopefully get into a bit of painting now. I'm a little bit nervous, I've never really done this before, so, but hey, can't learn if you don't do it. So just gonna get into it, give it a quick coat of um, primer, and then go from there. Uh, I might, Try and set it up somehow where it's sort of hanging a little bit so I can get in underneath it. A few things are in here that I could use, I suppose. But yeah, so set you up over here and we'll get into it. So I've given it a quick blast of um, the satin black that I've chosen. So 
Looks all right, but um, next year I've come to the gym and I didn't want to bloody gas them out, so I thought I'd um, just give it the once, a little quick once over. Seems to be, seems to come up all right. Um, but yeah, that, that'll be it for me today. I think I'm gonna come back tomorrow at some stage and uh, finish it off, and then move on to the not so fun part in there, trying to get to that, which is gonna be a nightmare. I'm gonna get paint everywhere and I don't really wanna do it. Let's see if I'll try and get someone else to do it, maybe. See how I'll go with it, clean it all up, and then go from there. But, yeah, so that'll be it for me today. I'm waiting on the Maloo now to get dropped off, and then I'm actually gonna take that home tonight and then um, hopefully get picked up by one of the boys in the morning and come back here, get the Hilux. So I'm gonna move some stuff around and put the Hilux in here. All right, so this is it. I've got my Malu back for a little bit. It's a very, very tidy car and I'm filthy that I'm not buying it and putting it in the shed. But it's a bit dark, so I had to wait a little while. Let's see if we get any phone out. You can see all that, only a little bit, but yeah, it's one tidy car. It's one that I really like and miss having. Sounds great, goes really well. Just swap the battery over. I have a spare one here, so. Because it's just fine, but it doesn't want to get that trouble for the guys of the truck, but yeah. Very, very tidy. He's already got a new bar coming for it. There's a few cracks there and there. Other than that, she's one ripping ute. And I'm filthy that I didn't. I had the chance to buy it back, so I can't be that filthy, but I've got just too many projects on the go at the moment. I need to pull my head in. But yeah, so that's it for today, I think. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the little bell button so you know when I'm posting. Cheers, guys. See you later.